GIA Automotive doing a video here on a 2013 Ford Explorer with a 3.5 turbo uh, engine. Um, what I'm doing here today is um, I'm doing a crank uh, position sensor. P0016 is the code. Um, now, very, very uh, important. I'm going to tell you all the secrets and tricks to get this thing out because I had to figure this out on my own and um, I just want to tell you exactly what you're going to need to take out you're going to need to let's start here you're going to take out the heat shield that's covering this whole manifold here and um, that's this heat shield here then after that you're going to take the plastic cover off of the engine on the top then after that you're going to go down in the bottom you're going to disconnect this fuel this flex pipe here um this is this is this bolts onto the um catalytic converter then you're going to take out all the oxygen sensors that are connected to the catalytic converter disconnect them the one on the top that can stay in place and the one on the bottom you need to um, remove to access the bolt that is right there and uh don't forget to spray your bolts I had to heat them up too and then after you do that you're gonna get to this um you need to get to this is where the catalytic converter goes here is the turbo and right above here is the um, crank position sensor and you got to remove this um this uh, heat guard heat shield guard here and then covering here is a rubber boot so over here there's that one over there and then once you remove that boot you still got to be good in slick to remove this plug you got just enough room to push down on the tab and pull out with the same hand you're pushing down on there's don't there's literally no room and then um for the bolts here it's a 15 millimeter for the ones up on the top by the catalytic converter is a 15 millimeter with a swivel um 15 15 gear wrench shorty and a long one will help you and um then once you do that this this sucker here it was so uh difficult to get out and then I was worried that once I got this screw out it was gonna fall into the the housing of the the transmission this thing sits like this in there and then um, I was worried that this screw was gonna come out but it actually stays in place it stays in there but the new sensor does not come like that the new sensor has a screw out and once you put the sensor back in there you're gonna have a good time I'm already anticipating what a pain in the ass it's gonna be to line up that bolt but um, the tricky thing about it is that Ford switched around the size of the bolts because they don't want you to fucking figure it out man and this is so stupid how everything was eight millimeter eight millimeter and out of nowhere it's a it's a 930 seconds for this one here so be ready for that because these guys they um they want you to come go to the dealership but yeah um this is a video because um i seen there was nothing there was nothing no information um to get this thing out and and um you might be able to squeeze it out without removing this but i just removed it because there's it's just so much easier it's 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 on an angle and it's only one way you can just feel with your finger at the same time you're you're holding this it's it's very fucking tricky you gotta you gotta hold and feel for the for the nut for the head of the nut and then you put it on there and you start turning it everything was very challenging from the bolts here the angle on this one this one here was just just um rusty and seized up i needed to heat it up but um yeah be prepared this is a 2013 Ford Explorer 3.5 with the turbo. All right, crank position sensor. There you go. Um, catalytic converter on the front has to come out.
25 years of experience. Give me a call if you got any work for me. Servicing Berwyn, Cicero, Stickney, Lyons, um, North Riverside. Today I'm in Lamont. I'll come on out to Bolingbroke, Naperville, anywhere else if it's worth my time. So um, there you have it. This is a 2013 Ford Explorer. 708-699-8887 is my contact number. I'm going to be doing the front brake pads and the rear brake pads on this thing. Um, I'll do a video for that one. All right. Thank you for watching. PayPal account set up over the phone if you need information also. Um, advice over the phone. Give me a call if you are stuck and you need some help. All right. Thanks.